the wetlands of the Elkhorn Slough are home to animals large and small. They filter water flowing down from the hillsides and hold carbon, an important benefit in combating climate change. But the slough has lost 50% of its salt marsh in recent decades. With the Hester Marsh Restoration Project, we're working to get some of that back. And the Hester Marsh Restoration is really an attempt to sort of set things back into balance. We are not here to, to recreate the past. There, there's been changes made here that we'll never be able to turn back, and, and, these, and these changes have affected this place pretty dramatically. So what we are really trying to do is create something new that is sustainable well into the future. The Hester Marsh Project restores 65 acres of former salt marsh that was lost due to historical diking and draining. The first step in restoring the sunken land was to bring in soil to fill it back up. The way this project was designed, we moved about 200,000 cubic yards of sediment out here. We had to raise the salt marsh plain about three feet in order to make it at an elevation that's high enough to sustain sea level rise, the modeled sea level rise that we anticipate seeing. Heavy equipment rolled and rumbled constantly for over eight months, hauling in soil to raise the elevation, then grading and sculpting the land. The contractors understood the conditions out here, how to work in the wet mud, and how to create what you see now. Once the stage was finally set, the new channels were open to the tidewaters. This milestone marked the end of construction and the beginning of life returning to this once and future marsh. What we're seeing today is the public coming out and having a chance to get their hands dirty in this project and contribute to this restoration effort because it's not just one group or a few people that are doing this. It takes an entire community to make this happen. By studying historical marshes and healthy wetlands and by monitoring changes here like the rate of plant growth, the return of wildlife, and the amount of carbon held in the soil. We are learning a lot about how these habitats respond to disturbances like human activities and climate change. When we have a project on this scale, there are huge opportunities to learn from it. And we will be studying this project for many years with diverse teams of scientists and volunteers. And the lessons learned will inform not just our own work here at Elkhorn Slough for future projects, but also salt marsh work around the world. We're restoring 65 acres of salt marsh ecosystem. We're improving water quality through filtration. We're sequestering carbon. We're providing resilience to future sea level rise and we're providing habitat for our listed species such as otters. Within a few years, we expect the marsh to be lush with vegetation, providing a refuge for wildlife, and enough soil was added for the new marsh to sustain a century of sea level rise.